you've got your full uh, performance recorded and you've gone ahead and um, you know finished up everything there so if you go to character animator um, you go into the scene uh, you'll have created a uh, some kind of a um, some kind of a performance right so you know in this case I could just click this button and so why did the start recording myself well wow, it's already recording all right so once that's done you can um, go ahead and just save this so you just want to go to file save project as and we just want to put this someplace where we can find it right so um, you know, so you can make a new folder on your desktop whatever you want to do um, but you just want to try to make sure that you find you can find this thing again it's ideal to save it all right next to one another so once you're all done with that and it's all finished um, what we want to do is we want to import a live link of that file so we could export it out as like a different kind of a um, file format but I think the ideal thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to want to go into After Effects here and so you just go to After Effects and go New Project you go um, you know File Save As and so we're going to save this After Effects file someplace where we can find it again I would put it in the same place that uh, you know that you had your other um, files just so it keeps everything in one spot but go ahead and click save then we just want to go to file and we want to go to import we just want to go to import file and we just need to find the character animator project so it's a chprog file but once you find that file you just you know go find it in your folder where you stashed it and click open and it's going to ask you which scene you want to bring in so if you have multiple scenes you've recorded that'll be uh, that'll be something that you want to kind of think about but uh, I'm going to go ahead and click this blank face one which is the one that we kind of set up for this project and it's going to bring in a live link which basically means it's going to just going to dump that whole that whole performance in here for us so if I you know just scroll through the playhead now I should see uh, it might take a little while to render but you should see your um, you know your project kind of moving there so that's the recording of what I've made the other thing you want to do is bring in any other items that you want to bring in that to play around with in here so let's say you have a background drawing I'm just gonna find something really fast um, let's see I go down to um, I just try it. Usually it's easier to bring in like a JPEG than it is to bring in a big, um, you know, big old huge uh, like Photoshop file, especially with multiple layers. So if I bring in this JPEG now, I can just, I can drag the, uh, this JPEG back behind my, um, oh, I'm sorry, wrong composition. I can drag it in behind this figure and now I kind of like, I have like a background. So anything you want to bring in, you can do that. So now I have my performance in here and it's got the sound attached to it and everything as well and so now my job is to go through and learn whatever else I want to do to add the other items to this so um, right now this head will just kind of go through the performance that I recorded and it will also um, show the background so you want to add other things you can change things work on animating it however you want make it humorous which is the goal of this project but once you get this all in there you know just hit save now it should all be saved together and when you're done with your project you can render it out and um, upload it and you'll have a finalized project so again there's way more tutorials that teach you how to do all kinds of different things in After Effects but for now this will get your character animator performance into After Effects so you can start playing around with it